What's up everybody and welcome back to Timothy Hannock at long last. I am playing Game of Sultans. I've been at this for over a month now. Close to two months I would guess. It's been a while and I've done quite a bit since then. So let's get into this. Alright. So, when you start off, you're going to get these five videos on your left side. You see a five inside a red circle and a movie clip, an old-fashioned movie clip thing with a couple of diamonds. And it pops up this. Which I'm not going to do that. That's going to just waste time that I don't really have. I'm going to show you guys... The fastest way to get all these quests, well I can't say all of them, but what you need to unlock all of those treasure boxes up above. So for those who don't know how to play this, never have played it, this is a good way of figuring stuff out for when you first start. You won't have to keep clicking on everything and trying to read everything and figure everything out just follow my lead all right so i may forget one or two things i normally do so don't judge me please <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go here okay i'll explain what that stuff is later what now right now oh i got boost I'm just collecting my academy um, points for my visors. Your visors are those who need leveling up, powered up, different ways I'll get to that. So right now, I'm choosing this guy who's in the orange. He's a level 250. The maximum level you can go is 400 until you got to start adding other items to increase their experience and level and all that and I'll show you all that too as I go I'm trying to get everybody to 100 so we'll put him in move the camera around I'm sorry uh, put this guy back in there down there And I'm going to help a friend out. Go to friendship. I'm going to go to this. Tap the bottom. And I'm going to... I didn't mean to drag that. I was actually trying to drag these people up. Uh, I'll just use him. Why not? And get out of here. The upper left side of the screen has a, a little arrow thing. You gotta click that to get back. I'll sh explain all these other things later. Um, so apparently, I gotta collect my bonuses and all that. So I might as well show you that now while I'm. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Still going about. Alright. Click ranking. I'm gonna claim I'm 84th place out of everybody. This is my rewards. And let me go to Union. I'm 16th place out of all the Unions. So, what happens when you do these mini games? You get ranked, uh, your Union gets ranked. So, whether you are the leader, such as myself, I'm the leader of Peacemakers. I spend my 2,000 diamonds, which is how much it cost to set up your own union and personal. So I'm 84th place out of everybody in my server. There's different servers. So I'm just explaining that real quick. So I got my rewards from that. And the daggers came back dagger slider oh wait 
What's this? Yesterday. Oh, expired stuff. Okay. Yeah, you can send your friends that you make on here. Uh, things, rewards that you get. I'll have to get into that some other day. So, I'm just... Okay, my mailbox. Oh, so they're still doing mailbox. That's good. I really don't like the... Uh, there's 100 diamonds. Cool. And a little money thing. I'll show you what that does real quick. If I have the time. I'm going to go up. Grab my rewards. The, the first two things that you see are for feasts. What you need at least 100 diamonds to start. I'm trying to save diamonds right now. I told my union that. You can communicate with your friends. Uh, people that's on your server. And you see this little microphone. Kind of going in and out. In and out. In and out slowly. Michael Stevens. Senior Prince. Seeking marriage. You can click on that little spot, and this is all local. So this is everyone that's on your uh, server. Anyway, let me get to this now. I'm going to go to the council. You get rewards. That's the first guy you get. And I'm just going to give all the charm to my one girl because I'm trying to level her up. I won't be able to explain everything at once, guys. I'm sorry, but I will be making many, many videos. Oops. Because I got so many things on my phone, I can only go up to 25 minutes and 20 seconds specifically for each of my videos. And I've been trying to delete some things and it's just not working too well for me. So, bear with me here. Okay. I need this. Come on. Your fortune teller. Gives you some stuff. I see a rooster. The rooster means you will have a bright new dawn. Cool. I don't always read it. But occasionally I do. Okay, now come campaign. Story mode, basically. And that's literally what this is. So you got auto attack, which takes up a whole lot of troops. 48,821,000 troops. I normally just go with this here where you get very less and you're act, you go row by row by row. I'm just ignoring all this. It's not a point. If you want to read the story mode, feel free, but I'm not. That's a waste of time now. And I don't even remember things I read, so I kind of I really find it pointless. So what you typically want to do is go through two of these. And you get rewards. You get, I got the gold and those star things is to level your character up, your avatar, basically. You get to create him or her when you first start the game. Alright, I'm going to get out of there now. Because I got what I needed. I'm going to go here. See, when it comes up to this, I only got 11 out of 11. So. Oh, sweet. I got a boost. That's the first time I ever got that. Well, not the, you know, first time I ever got a boost on the uh, character level up token. Um, at the beginning of the, the game, it will explain to you what that's used for, what it is. And uh, literally all it is is for your avatar to level up to um, higher positions. From one type of prince to the next prince and whatnot. Okay. I like to collect the books mainly because that helps your visors level up. And it, uh, for this, it really don't matter if you put yes or no. It's not going to affect anything, really. And I'm going to do this. Boost. And what is that boosting? My money. Normally, it boosts money. That's something you really need. So, I'm going to need to recover each one of these. 
And to show you what it is, is this thing right here, Levy Seal. I think I pronounced that correctly, Levy. I'm not 100% sure, probably not, but that's what you use to recover these things. You need to use 12, okay? You gotta use all of these 12 times. I can, I've only got up to 11 at, the, at this moment, so. As you level up, you see your face, your avatar face. I'm called Master Sultan. You kind of look like princes, if you ask me. Prince or kings. So, just don't mind me. Uh, so, I am my Master Sultan 4. Uh, I'm going to be working on level 5. And you see these little, as I said before, those things that level your character up. I got, uh, I believe, 7,000. Uh, yeah, 7,053, I believe, that is, yeah, out of 16,000 that I need to level up. So, two ways you can get those, either from the campaign, which is a story mode, or what I was just at right here. Go to Hawkus, and I got crap ton extra, which you can always use as much as you want. I, If I were you, I'd recommend saving a list at least 10 to 15 of those for when you need them and see as you see here i got so many already that's ready to go so i know i haven't done them all so i'm just gonna sit wait for a moment i'm gonna go to visors these are all the troops i have they all have specialties which you can see on the left side of their faces a lot of them have one pacific one and there's only one guy who doesn't have any so i kind of made him the special one and gave him a bunch of different boosts so his power is the second strongest at the moment and uh so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to use some of your gold unfortunately <laughs> So I'm going to go up to somebody like right here. This is going to be cheap. And I already got this level up 10 times check marks. And I leave it there because you need to level up someone 10 times. So instead of constantly clicking the level up button over and over again, you just press it once and there's 10 all together. Oops. Um, I should have went. Let me get him. I'm going uh, to do development. Go to swords. And this is 100% success rate. That's what you want. You can go try to do your, take your chances with 20%, 50-50 chance. I don't do that anymore. Because it's not really going to level them up. Oh, there is one other thing I forgot. Um, oh. I do spend a tiny bit of diamonds on my union. Constitution. Right, there we go. Constitution, I believe it's called. I just spent 10 diamonds. It's no big deal. I get <laughs> like 10 times that amount throughout my gaming. So, uh, what you also will need to do, unfortunately, is go here. You have to click on this. Ooh, well, that's my favorite. Holy cow, over 3,000. There we go. I typically don't care. I, I hold a bunch of those things in. What you just saw, just for a second. A uh, screen is acting up because of me recording for some reason. Alright, so these right here, Restore Vigor, vigor. <laughs> I got 206. I save a bunch of these. And doing this levels up a bunch of things, which I may not really have time to explain. The reason this video is taking longer than 5 minutes is literally because there's so much to explain, so much to show you. But if I'm doing this by myself, I could typically do it within about 5 to 10 minutes. Within that time limit. 
So you gotta do this um, 12 times. And I've already lost count, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Use one more of these. It resets vigor, vigor. I don't remember, I don't know how to pronounce it really. My speech is terrible. I know. Okay, one more. And this is how you make children, which children are useful in many different ways, which I also can't explain that right at the moment. Oh, jeez. Go to Masquerade, which gives you troops and gold and grain. I just kind of ignore this. When you first start, I suggest saving as much of these things as you can because it's going to come in handy, especially when you're a business businessman such as myself. Okay, it's like freezing. I'm just clucking my way through it. Yeah. I'm running out of time here. Hopefully I'm, I think I'm just about done. All right, after this, I'll be good. And then there's one last thing to show you. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Now, what you wanna do is go to rankings. Click any of those. I like to collect them all. If you get one rank above somebody else, you get 110. Otherwise, you just stick with uh, 10 diamonds. But if you add it all up, you get 60 diamonds. Just by doing this every single day. Alright, now, I'm done doing everything. So I'm going to show you. Just click away. And you'll see all the box treasure boxes up above lighting up. This is what I do every morning. Huh. What did I forget? Oh, raise hair. Okay. Okay. There we go. Six out of four. There we go. See, I told you I would probably forget one or two things. Because they usually do. And then you just click them. And you get your bonuses. Gold. Diamonds. Uh, don't ask me the yellow thing. I have no idea. So for those who are watching this. and know what that is. Because it tells you in the beginning. I missed it. So someone please comment below. For myself and for, everyone's watch for that. everyone that's watching this. Please comment below. And explain what those yellow stones. With the arrow going upward mean because I don't honestly know sadly and I want to give a shout out to somebody that is on social Let's see if I can find them her or him I don't know it's hard to tell when males like using female avatars so let's see I'll just say okay Okay, yeah, this is the person right here. You can use Vanguard scrolls while in the Union War, I think. Which was very helpful. Before you start Union War, you have to um, register, and then there's another button, which I, it's probably too late to show you now. I have to read, go through that for you. But there's the ID number. Two zero three six six zero zero four zero seven four. Oh, that's from Titanium. That's my competition, honestly. That's my rival. <laughs> but that's cool. That's all right. I find it uh, entertaining to have a challenge. Anyway, I told. 
him or her, I'm not sure who it is exactly, that I was going to put them on my YouTube channel. I asked permission. They said, sure, that's fine. All right, guys, I'm past my 20 minutes, so I'm going to end it here. I showed you how to do everything uh, that I do for the morning. If you have to, to play it again, and that'll be that. So, yeah, you want to visit the Imperial Council, Imperial Academy. Uh, go to the Divination, which is uh, Fortune Coffee. Uh, you go to Union, spend 10 diamonds at the con Contribution. Just to be cheap and save diamonds. You can do it for a while. 